I wouldn't mind another NFL night. Give us Tuesday too. Yeah, give I'll us Tuesday. It. I'll watch it. <laughs> to dominate. This is the big show. Make your picks right here. Boom, boom. Actually, I was going to do it. This is the big show. <laughs> Last week was a shit show, much like that debate. Uh, yes. I'm going to start on my team, the New York Jets. The team has been awful. Just awful. They didn't show up. The rumor is that the owner of the team is going to fire coach Adam Gase if they don't win at home on Thursday night against Denver and their third string quarterback. Brett Rippon, nephew of Mark Rippon from the Redskins way back when. So the prediction is, of course, the Jets are going to win this game handily. Right. Okay. Right. Knowing all things Jets that I know, they come out and win this game. Now, could they come out and lose to a third string quarterback? Sure. But... With the coach's job on the line, I say they win this week. All right. I, you know, I didn't factor all that into it <laughs> at all. <laughs> I just know it's I know. the Jets. It was only 3.5 they're giving them. There's more psychologically going on than you the, can the, possibly the imagine. Yes. <laughs> and just, a, uh, you're not getting your coach fired. He's going to stick around. Right, right. I don't know if I should switch. Don't switch. Don't <laughs> Saints switch. at Lions. Again, knowing that I know nothing about the Lions after last week's prediction and then they come out and win the game, I'm going to pick the Lions. You going home, with the Lions against the points. Saints? Uh, I'm, going, I'm going Saints on that. Okay. Did the Saints look that good to you last weekend? They didn't look bad, man. I mean, they were hanging with Aaron. And the... Again, it's we don't know anything about this league, Kimmy. Yeah. It gets proven every, every single week. Game. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us to the Chargers at Tampa Bay. Call me crazy. I'm going to pick the Chargers. In what this made one. you go with the Chargers? Now, just seven and a half points, and, you know, maybe the Tampa Bay gets a little let down. And they don't, maybe they win by a field goal. Well, I, I was. They call it gambling, Kimmy, not winning. True, but I literally said <laughs> you don't bet against Tom Brady yesterday as I bet against him. And I lost. Yeah. So no, I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't win every single game, Kimmy. Yeah, I'm, I went with the Bucks. <laughs> Jaguars and Bengals. Okay, the Bengals. What, what was that stat we saw? They haven't won a game on the road in forever, and yes. now they're coming home and they had a tie and their number one pick and whatever and all that yada yada yada. I'm gonna take Jacksonville to win the game. I'm taking the Jags, but I could. I, it could go either way, man. That, I, I marked it because it's too close, and I feel like I should change it. But I'm taking the Jags. The 0 and three Vikings. The 0 and three Texans. Right. And both teams should not me, be 0-3, right? <laughs> Give me Minnesota. Yeah, I went, with, I went with the Vikings as well. Texans look a little raggedy. But but is it going to surprise you if it no, goes the other way, Kimmy? No, no, no. Not at all. Okay. The Seahawks at the Dolphins. The Seahawks probably have the uh, the MVP in uh, Russell Wilson. He's playing the lights Easily. out, five touchdowns last week. Easily. Give me the Seahawks on the road with the long travel. Uh, under a touchdown, they'll win by more yeah, than a yeah, touchdown, sure, you think? Right? Now here comes COVID biting us in the ass. <laughs> yeah. uh, <it's, laughs> they're talking about playing this game on Monday. They're talking about playing, playing this Tuesday, game on right? Tuesday. Give me the Titans getting a point and a half on Tuesday Night Football. I went with uh, the Steelers. Watch it. Okay, next up, your, your boys, the... Uh, Browns and Cowboys. Uh, the, the surprising Browns who won last week visiting your... Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys favored by four and a half points. Give me the Cowboys. Yeah, Cowboys, Cowboys going good. with the Cowboys. I still that. don't believe, right? Yeah, you can't you trust the Browns, you know? You can't nope. trust that. Cannot. Can't trust that win. Cannot. The Cardinals at the Panthers. Arizona visiting the Carolina Panthers. Panthers getting three and a half at home. This feels easy. Give me the Panthers. Yeah. Give me the Panthers. What? Give me the Panthers. See, it's not easy, though. How? It's really – because, Kimmy, how many times do we say, oh, this is – Because McCaffrey? Because be McCaffrey? This is going to be this way. Uh, it looks like 84% of the betters on uh, the CBS Fantasy poll site are picking Arizona. That's where I went. So I'm going to go the other way. All right, well, you're in that big majority. Okay, Colts at the Bears. Colts looked pretty good last week, pounding the Jets. And the Bears – 
Move Nick Foles yep. into the starting position. Into the starting position and lit it up. Came back from behind to make yeah, my last Atlanta. win look good. Atlanta, what was it? They Atlanta lost two games in a row. Yeah, after being know, ahead by like, like 20 99 percent, 99 percent chance of winning. It was like a one in nine hundred thousand yeah. chance that that would happen. Dude, and it happened. Yay! I said it would. Bears. It did. I'm going with the Bears. Give me the Colts. Ravens at Washington. <laughs> Washington is annoying. The Ravens lost a tough game against the champs. They're going to come back angry, right? They're going to come back angry. They're getting two touchdowns. Though, Are they coming back 3.13.5, you know, points angry? I think I, I think so, don't you? I had to. You can't not say Ravens. <laughs> <laughs> That's more likely than not, right? Yeah. Okay, speaking of another big spread, the New York Giants visiting the LA Rams. Rams are favored by 12 and a half points. Another one. Give me the Rams. Give me the Rams. Give me the Rams. <laughs> the Giants. Are There's no way. Lost. They're lost in space. Patriots are Chiefs. Champs hosting the Patriots. Chiefs favored by seven and a half points. Give me them Chiefs. Give me the Chiefs because, uh, hey, they're the champs. They look so good. I, I didn't expect them to go just, to the Ravens like that. They've been unstoppable, right? Yeah, and their run defense was good. Everything. everything. They were clicking on all. Tariq Hill. Everybody's clicking on all cylinders, man. It's nice. Yeah. Okay, next up, Bills at the Raiders. The Raiders uh, are getting three and a half points at home. Give me the Raiders. Really? Bills are due. I'm Bills, Bills are due for a lot. Bills aren't an undefeated team, are they? Yeah. You're going to win every single game? They're not. They're going to win this one. Raiders, Raiders have been hanging around to beat, beat a tough uh they won their home opener. I say they come back with another one. Eagles at the 49ers. The 49ers are favored by just under a touchdown, six and a half points. Philly is broke. Done. Gonna win. I'm picking them. You're taking them. <laughs> <laughs> taking them. You can't take them. It's been three weeks. I'm years. taking them. I know. In the Monday night game, the Woeful Packers, which we talked about earlier, visiting Green Bay. Green Bay, seven and a half point favorite. Give me Green, Green Bay. Bay all day. They're going to come back and do their 40-point game again. They lost the streak last week by not getting 40 points. They're going to get them this week. Okay, now you got to pick a team that's going to win the game without the spread. Seattle Seahawks are going to win the game. For sure. And you like that one, too? Yeah, I was going to say that one, but I have another one. And now with the spread, give me the Raiders. I think they're going to win the game. Raiders? Rip that? Okay. Uh, it's Vegas, baby. If we're gambling, let's gamble. What better place, no? Planet safe, going without the spread. <laughs> Giants losing to the Rams. Mm. Yeah. That's going to happen. And okay. with the spread, 49ers. Picking on the NFC East again. That's me. Sorry. All right, buddy. Till next time. Let's have, good, good, let's have a good weekend. Good luck and good football, baby. You got it.